This is our first day out for a while in the Pajero. It's our first actual trip onto some dirt roads since our half lap was completed, which for us was uh, a couple of months ago now. We are headed for the Cobor State Forest, which is just outside of Mansfield, Victoria. And we're just planning to go in there, check out the tracks. This is our first dry day we've had for months. Um, so we are expecting there to be quite a bit of mud in there, but we're gonna try and stick to the easier tracks uh, just because of the low clearance in the Pajero. But we might find ourselves in some mud regardless. So let's see how that goes. heading down, even though it's sealed, a road called Bergenwell's Track, and going to be approaching uh, Cobal State Forest from the northeast. Uh, just because I was looking at some online content the other day of people who approached from the sort of southern side of Cobal State Forest, and I thought, oh, that looks a bit gnarly, that track. I might see if there's something a little bit easier. I think it's um, Ridge Road, or Ridge Track, that we're going to be entering on, which should be coming up in the not too distant future on our left. Okay, so we just overshoot the slope. Oh, what is car oh, sitting wow. in there as well? Busy already. It does, does it? There's a few people lined up. Well, that's good. It means if we get stuck, we're probably with someone to give us a hand. No, I think these people are doing uh, mountain bike. Well, this is the entrance of the track. It looks deep already, and because our car clearance is not very high, so hopefully one of these. Just chucked this rock in a second ago. I'm hoping that'll be enough to get us through here. <laughs> and hopefully we don't slide off the side. Check out how deep this is. It's like if we slide into this, we're gonna be stuck. And that is a bit slippery on the side, like that'll be fall at the first hurdle if we do that. I don't know how good an idea this is, but we might give it a go. What do you reckon? But that's a meter deep. This one should be fine. I'll just watch from the front. <coughs> yeah, well, you'll have to go down there and spot me. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it to the right. Oh good. Yeah, right. Oops, got a collapse. Right. It's gonna go hard. It's gonna go hard. Good. seems it's not getting easier and it's it's also it's getting muddier 
we probably won't go too deep because we don't have a body if we get stuck so if you look around I can show you So here we go. Yeah, keep to your left. To your left and then Watch out that tree on your left. Yeah, good, good clearing. To your right. Far right. Left. Oh, yeah. To your left. Left a bit more. Yeah. Left a bit more. Keep it straight. The forest itself is beautiful. You can hear birds chime, chirping and the uh, cockatoo screaming in my background, as you can see. Guess what? Guess what? what is it, Jay? We've remembered to charge the batteries. Yeah, so I chose that uh, track not because I knew anything about it, just because I'd seen other entrances to the forest and thought, oh, maybe that'll be an easier way to come in. And it turns out it wasn't an easier way to come in. It was pretty gnarly. And uh, we did navigate it successfully, which was pretty good. But if we'd slipped just a little bit left or right going over those uh, ruts, we could have been in some serious trouble. And after we got to the bottom, we sort of uh, had a park and a look around. 
and this bunch of four by fours drove past and one guy stopped and he said, oh, don't go in there. Um, if you get stuck, nobody will pull you out. And I said, no, I just came down there. I think his advice is prudent advice. Um, Cause if, uh, I mean, he's, he reckons he's a regular around here. So if he's not prepared to go in there and pull you out, if you get stuck, probably nobody else is either. Um, so we might stick to the gravel paths for today um, and uh, wait for drier weather to go and check out the, the uh, dirt tracks themselves. One more thing, one more thing is uh, even though it's only 16 degrees here um, in late spring. The mozzies are absolutely swarming and guess who didn't bring the rid? That would be me. So my arms and fingers are covered in mosquito bites now from being outside. So absolutely bring some sort of insect repellent with you if you're coming in here. I mean, it has been raining a lot, so there's plenty of water around. We know the mozzies love that. When it warms up, they all come uh, looking for their blood. But gee, I tell you, I haven't seen that many mozzies around for a while. Well, the road is closed for some reason. It could be um, because of the, the the flush or water. Could be trees down, wrecked roads, road maintenance. Who knows? Yeah. So we're going back the same way now. Well, we had an option of a left or a right back there. We turned right, so this time we'll just keep going straight. We've turned right just to check if there's anything interesting in here. Let's see whether or not it stays fairly smooth as it is at the start. Otherwise, we'll turn around. Another thing to remember in uh, Cobol is of course watch out for cyclists and dirt bike riders there's plenty of them around so this is the um, cruisiest track and then it's we are on the an intersection and the track is on Jay's road is the fire line track is yeah, so that's Riley's fire line, which we passed off Riley's road, and we've since come up Crozier's track. Well, it's still an enjoyable day, even if we don't get a difficult track, which is... What are you talking about? We did a very difficult track. Yeah, I mean, short time, <laughs> but it's not like a longer time, but it's good. It is good. It's always nice to have a drive in the forest. M&M track. M &M track. I've heard a few M&M &M tracks in my time. Well, that goes back to Riley's Road as well, so we can check it out, see if it's good. If not, turn around. All right. All right. Let's do it. bit of dirt but no giant ruts so far very narrow though so if we get to a point where we think we have to turn around that might be a bit problematic oh Ooh. I see trouble ahead hang on for a sec oh, I don't think we're going to be doing that put your window up Okay, so M and M, &M track definitely not for us today. We've come down as far as we're likely to get. We don't know what the track is like after this bit. And look, we could get down it. I think we probably could get down it. But if we come to an uphill bit, which is like this, I don't think we're going to get up it, which means, of course, we wouldn't be able to come back up this way either. This is a mess for us. And this is just not happening. Like if you take a look, even here at the top, 
you know, that's that's the shallowest part of the rut right there. That only gets deeper on the way down. And yeah, I mean we could we could get down it, but I'm not going to risk it because getting back up would be very difficult. We're going to Lansfields uh, now, the, the closest town from the Cobol forest and we would like to find out if they have a good coffee or any cafe that is nice to hang out. We like to support the local uh, businesses. So we dropped by Lansfield for a cup of coffee. We've got the uh, Aspie Cafe over there, so we'll let you know if they're any good. Um, there is, first time I've seen this, there is this uh, statue or cut out of a black cat silhouette. Now I'm assuming that that is referring to the rumors around this area, stretching from sort of Kyneton to Woodend to Lansfield to Romsey, that there's uh, been a large cat, and some people think a Jaguar, that's been sighted over the years, but people have been saying this since around World War II, so personally I don't put a lot of stock in it, but you know, if you like a folk tale, it's a, it's a good one to tell the kitties, and who knows, maybe it's even true. Maybe American World War II soldiers did bring a couple of Jaguars with them, and they still have their offspring roaming the area. It's a cafe. Yeah. And look at that. Aspie? The, Was it Aspie? Yeah, yeah. Aspie Cafe. It's a nice. A couple of terrariums, a paper like fire. It's a nice looking ceiling as well. So we, here we are, we've got our coffee and brownies. This is just our tradition. Yeah, gotta check out the coffee everywhere we go. I like Lansworth. It's really wide open roads and feels like the countryside, but it has everything. So it has a lot of cafe and it's nice old building and close closer to Melbourne as well. We've got uh, cottage gifts on high here, uh, gifts and homewares and plants. We're going to just go inside and take a look around and see if we can size, find some uh, plants for bash in this terrarium. Well, here we are in the local nursery and it is really, really nice variety of plants. When I go to local nursery, I'll look for plants that are not available in Melbourne, like this one. I've never seen one and it's, it's actually drought resistant and it's called Euphorbia. And look at the flower and it's flowering in the winter. And this one is the fern, which is good for my terrarium. Oh, yeah, indoor fern? Yeah, Very exactly. Good. Very nice. So this, this one's the leaf itself is attractive. Yeah, it is nice. So yeah, I've never seen it before. Right, better go buy it then. Yeah, let's do it.